Okay, so I'm getting ready to do the zodiac sign Scorpio. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for Scorpio. So you have affirmation. You could be definitely, you know, in the energy where you're not allowing other things to influence you. Um, you're listening to your intuition more. You're definitely someone that is standing in your own power. You're someone that's being very brave, um, having your own self-confidence. It's like you don't need others to boost your self-esteem up or um, you're just someone that's like self-made. Like you don't need anyone to assure you who you are. Yeah, and you're someone who definitely has a lot of self-respect and you respect others. You're also someone that is highly respected by other people because of your self-respect. You're someone that you you are someone that definitely have a lot of self-love. You don't need reassurance from other people. And a lot of people respect you for that. So you have strength. So you're someone that's definitely very strong. You've overcame a lot. So this is why you're in this energy where you're, um, you're able to acknowledge your own needs. Like when you need to take a step back from certain people, certain situations, and um, just do you. It's like you're someone that has a lot of self-control. And you're very focused and determined. But whatever it is that you want to do, you know, for yourself. You have the Ten of Wands. And then you have the star. Somebody could be overwhelmed. If you're getting a lot of attention or you're in the spotlight, you could be someone that's very inspiring to people. You're giving people a lot of hope with the energy that you're in. Somebody is overwhelmed. They're burdened by this. Somebody is burdened by your positivity. Now, if you're someone that's a healer, Another person, they didn't see this coming. They don't like that. Yeah, it's like somebody is overwhelmed by the energy that you're in. You have the Knight of Wands. This could be someone that's very immature. You know, they do a lot of stuff without thinking. This could be someone that's very childish. You could be in this energy where you're very fearless. And um, they're overwhelmed. Like they didn't expect this to happen. You have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And then you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, so this person is someone that is upset. It's like you've made some type of big change. And it's like you're growing. You're definitely growing. You could be learning something or you you could be teaching something with the, you know, this this healer could be, you know, this star card could mean a teacher or somebody that's, you know, spiritually teaching people. You've made this big change and it's like you could be, a lot of people could be looking up to you. Like you've accomplished a lot with the emperors being here. Somebody does not like that. It's like they're upset about it. This could be someone that, you know, they ran in and said something about you way too soon. And now they're overloaded with the energy that you're in. If this is someone who talked very negative about you and you're in a positive energy, 
they didn't expect to see you in this energy. It's like they ran in quick and did something or said something. You have the four of cups. Yeah, somebody's in regret for something that they said. Then you have the four of swords. And then you have the lovers. So this could be somebody that was in a connection with another person and they ended up laying something to rest. This person could have been talking about you negative to whoever they were attached to. And now that person that they were talking negative to, negative about you to, have ended something out with them, rejected that person. Yeah, and they're unhappy. This could be someone who was definitely trying to confuse another person about you with the Seven of Cups being here. And then you have the King of Cups popping out in the reverse. Wow. So they were trying to emotionally manipulate another person. Now, whoever this King of Cups is, they didn't want this person to have some type of emotions for you. They didn't want that person to show genuine love to you. This is someone that they wanted to... Um, They just didn't want that person to like you. It's like somebody was in a very immature energy and they wanted somebody else to be in an energy like, you know, confused and immature energy or something like that. If this is somebody that was showing some type of genuine love to you or you were showing genuine love to that person, they were trying to cause confusion. They didn't want this person to view you a certain way. You have healing. So this person definitely views you as someone that have made a lot of progress. Whoever the person is that they were trying to manipulate and confuse. Now, whoever this energy is, they could be an air sign like an Aquarius that tried to cause this manipulation. And it's like whoever the person is that they try to confuse could be a water sign. Yeah, this definitely helps somebody get enlightened. Spiritual awakening is here. It's like that person views you as someone that is um, enlightened. You're someone that has a lot of foresight. Like, you're very intelligent. Because you, you're, you are inspiring different people, giving people hope. But you're doing it in some type of, you know, a creative way. With the star card being here. Because people are paying attention to you. It's like the more and more this person tried to talk the more and more they've watched you improve and they're upset because they didn't expect for this change to happen quick. Yeah, somebody is blown away by your transformation. They didn't expect to see this. Like they, they didn't know this was going to happen. They didn't know that that person would release them with surrender being here. And then you have reconciliation. And then you have fear. So this is somebody that was in fear about another person coming towards you to reconcile. Um, this could be a reunion between two people that have a spiritual connection. Now with the lovers being here in the Seven of Cups, and then you have the King of Cups popping out in the reverse, they didn't want the person that you have this spiritual connection with to even know about the spiritual connection. Like they were in fear of this reconciliation. So they felt like if they can get this person to look at you a certain way or be suspicious about you, this could have wanted that, you know, meaning wanting that person to be afraid of you. Yeah, somebody was definitely afraid of divine time and then you have soulmate. So this person could be a soulmate. This could be a twin flame, but there's definitely a soul contract between you and another person and whoever the person is that they were attached to that was trying to talk negative about you. They were doing this to try to keep you and that person distant.
they feel like if they can keep you and that person distant, they would always be able to get a second chance with that person, go back and forth with that person or something like that. If this was a relationship. You have true love. So yeah, somebody was trying to keep another person away from their true love. This person has good intentions for you, but the person that they were attached to, they don't. So it's like they needed to see that that person was someone that was trying to place an illusion over them so they could release that person. Yeah. It's like they knew that you were someone that had good intentions. But they, they felt like if they did whatever they did or said whatever they said, this would have this person all confused. Yeah, but it's like that person is viewing you as their true love. This person views you as someone that have made a lot of progress. They could see you as a healer. They definitely view you as someone that is enlightened. You have influence and factors. And then you have time to say a oh, karmic relationship. So whoever this person is, this is somebody that they were definitely being taught a lesson by. Like they were emotionally manipulating that person to stay in some type of connection that was at a dead end with the four swords being here. Now this could have stressed this person out. Like this, with influencing factors being here, somebody was in a stressful, overwhelming um karmic relationship where they were losing a lot of money like having money issues with that person and this person was trying to keep them away from their true love this was definitely like a third party with third party being here it's like they were trying to interfere with this connection without that person knowing you have a long time Yeah, it's like somebody needed to take time out to be single. So they would be able to get their energy balanced out. Because somebody had another person all confused, all over the place, all in their emotions. Um, this could be someone that was definitely not showing any love to their self. They were just confused in some type of dead-end situation that needed to end out. And it kept that person daydreaming about realistic things like realistic things that they wanted you know wishing that they were able to be in a um true love connection be attached to someone that has good intentions for them being attached to someone who really truly loves them you know a, a relationship that is built on genuine feelings for one of one another equal give and take it's like they were in a daydream while they were attached to this person and they, you know, they're realizing with karmic relationship being here, they were dealing with some type of karma. Like that person was teaching them a lesson so they would be able to um, pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to things that they kept doing over and over again, like repeated signs. Getting this person prepared for something that is genuine so they would know what was genuine and what was not genuine. You have home and family. And then you have manifest your soulmate. So yeah, they've definitely they've definitely helped this person to um realize that they want something stable. This is someone who wants to have a family. This person is viewing you as their soulmate. Whatever it is that this person have been daydreaming about, like if this person is someone that have genuine feelings for you, emotions for you, and they've just been in this seven of cups energy, having different dreams or daydreaming, um, thinking about you a lot. This has helped this person to manifest you because whatever they have been, you know, thinking is becoming a reality.
Yeah. It's like the more and more they were trying to confuse this person about the connection that they have with you, the more and more this person was in the energy where they, you know, they didn't want to show any emotion to that person with the King of Cups popping out in the reverse. They were more anxious about connecting with you or being attached to you. Yeah, this could have made that person emotion stronger. And they're realizing they don't have emotions for the person that they were attached to. So they had no choice but to release this person. And if this is a past life relationship, you shared a lot of past lives with that person. That person is in the energy of wanting to um, reconcile with you. Like there is getting ready to be a reconciliation between you and that person. And this was somebody's worst fear. They didn't know by doing this, this would um, help somebody to get enlightened about a situation. And this would definitely um, have that person coming towards you at a perfect time. Like right in the middle of divine time or right when they're supposed to come towards you. 